<laughs> Sketchy. Greetings. Welcome to Sketchy. I'm Josh, and this is my uh, drawing board, my digital drawing board in Procreate on an iPad. Another one of my theme posts. This was a uh, you know a grid post on social media with four images, and I'm drawing roosters today with a little <laughs> bit of a twist at the end. Uh, first up, though, here is a cartoon rooster. Of course, you know my affinity for cartoon ducks, and certainly cartoon chickens are are in that uh, mix as well. Alana Dale here from Disney's Robin Hood. Fantastic character design, just uh, amazingly fun to look at. Really nice to draw. A little hard to get the proportions just right. Um, you know, I'm not uh, as fastidious, or I guess I'm not as rigid when it comes to the, the, the Disney drawings. I want to put a little bit of my own uh, scratchy style in there, but uh, I also want them to be recognizable. So um, this one was a little rough going. I think I got there, though. Really fun. Great design. Rooster, Rooster is just a great... Uh, cartoon face and then he's got these puffy sleeves and these long tiny legs uh, long with slender legs um i don't know good stuff i enjoy it and just about ready to start uh the color process um i think in this case you know i i, I of course um watch these movies frequently I have lots of reference I can use. Um, there's plenty of online reference. I believe in this case, and I've mentioned this before, once in a while you'll find like a maquette or a figurine or some kind of three-dimensional object that will be really helpful in um, reference. Not that I had it in my hand. I, it was still just pictures of it online, but I think that's what ended up getting me there in terms of uh, drawing. And, and it's my own pose, variation on, on familiar pose of the character in the movie, but... Um, You'd think I would just use a, a screenshot or still from the film, and that would be my inspiration. But in this case, it was actually a maquette. It was a, a little sculpture. And we're just about done with uh, Alana Dale and ready to move on to rooster number two. Another, uh, maybe the big one when you think about cartoon roosters. This next one might be um, top of the list. I don't know. But it certainly was fun to have an excuse to draw. Uh, I started that ramp up way too soon. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Got to get my red color, and then a dark red, and then a pink. Sorry, I really blew that. I really blew the timing on that one. I thought I was almost out of time. There he is. And then, of course, it's time to draw our buddy, Big... Looney Tunes dude himself, Foghorn Leghorn. I believe uh, I had a lot of uh, reference for this, but I, I believe it was ultimately a sticker. It was a picture of a sticker on Google somewhere. And again, I tweaked the pose and changed some elements of it to what I kind of had in my mind. But um, just you never know where you're going to get your, your best reference material. Uh, just a fantastic rooster character, great southern blowhard guy, kind of, uh, you know, benevolent, but, um, a little bossy. Boghorn Leghorn. Gotta love him. I like thick Looney Tunes characters. I like the big guys. They just always have a great sense of weight. You know, how they're like, their mass just kind of sags down, how his, his, his seat is so uh, pronounced and his, it just feels like he's he's got like a he's like a it's like a bag of flour I really want there to be whenever I draw cartoons um I want there to be a shagginess I want there to be I, I kind of want to find the middle ground actually between polish and and uh, shagginess sketchiness and uh, I've talked about this before, how I always think I go a little too clean. But if you look at my lines, you can see I'm not spending too much time making them perfect. I just want them to be thick where they should be thick and precise where they should be precise. And um, and I want them to have a lot of personality and movement in them. I don't want to draw things that look plasticky and, and uh, perfect. So 
pretty easy to color, only a few colors involved there. And now, uh, back to Disney for the next one. And it's our little pal, Hey Hey, from Moana, voiced by Disney legend Alan Tudyk. Great uh, comedic actor. And this one's a hard one, actually. Uh, it's very interesting. This is a very shaggy and kind of hand-drawn type of character, but of course he's rendered in CG. So to to, con- to translate him back into uh, line art was a surprisingly. Uh, I think this. I think I'm only showing you my, my final attempt that worked. There were a couple previous. Uh, even the even the body and the feet were kind of hard to get. They did some stuff with the 3D modeling that I think let them. Um, get away with a lot and I had to translate it into drawing or maybe I just have severe limitations to my skill really fun to draw these crazy feathers I think he's supposed to have more of them I kind of simplified it a little Uh, he's also supposed to be really rainbow colored and I just kind of chose a few colors to to impressionize his uh his color scheme I think it it works okay I could have spent more time perhaps on those tail feathers being a little more multicolored some green and, and yellow, I think, that works its way in there in the uh, in the actual model. But, of course, they're able to do things with rendering that um, are a lot more sophisticated than, than me with my uh, digital crayons. And here's Hey Hey. And then we've, of course, got one final rooster. And I told you there was going to be a twist. Can you guess? Can you guess? The twist. Once again, I'm way ahead of myself, but I'll give you a couple moments to think about who our final rooster could be. If you've seen my post, if you follow me on Insta or Facebook or Twitter or whatever, you you already know. But um, <laughs> it always looks really <laughs> shocking when I have to put splashes of dark red around the mouths of characters before I erase it away. Um, Man, I'm really good at, I'm really bad at judging the, the timing of these things. Uh, almost done here with Hey Hey. Almost ready for our final rooster. Who could it be? Who's left? Well, of course, who's left is Rooster Cogburn. Mr. Jeff Bridges. In the Coen Brothers, I think at this point, almost forgotten adaptation of True Grit. Um, it's certainly not the first film I think of when I think Coen Brothers, but I, I, I like it. It's a good, it's a good movie. It's a good inter- It's a good version of that book. It's a good, uh, it's a good thing. Oh, and we're done already. I'll see you next time. Bye.